you never know where an opportunity for a photo might appear. I am at my sister-in-law's house. Uh, I was out here a little while ago and we're going to install a French drain in, in the near future. I don't come out here that often because uh, for the past few years she's, she has cats and my wife is very allergic to cats. But uh, she's been living here over 10 years now I think and she has a wooded lot and in the back is a creek and I've been familiar with the creek. There's a small wooden bridge that goes over it and it's been great for the kids to play with when they were younger. But I was out here a few days ago and standing in the backyard I could hear the sounds of, of rushing water and it felt a little stronger than normal so I, I walked to the back and I'm, I'm pretty excited to, to be able to have an opportunity to now go out there with a photographer's eye looking for compositions. Never thought about this the last time I was around here and near, near the creek. But uh, yeah, let's wander down and uh, it's raining and the ground is really wet, which is why she needs a French drain. But let's, uh, let's go take a look and, and see what, uh, what we can uh, find for ourselves. So I came out and explored and I'm really glad I did. And that kind of ties into, uh, you just never know where a photographic opportunity is going to present itself. It's a rainy morning and I'm coming up on the creek now and I was pleasantly surprised from what I saw here. Check it out. Nice little waterfall. We've had plenty of rain lately, so the flow is good and wide. Normally it's just off the one corner, I think, the lower end over there by the bank. But this nice little cove and these mossy rocks. I am so excited to get in here and, and see what I can uh, develop. So apparently where, or close to where I want this composition to be taken from is one of the deepest parts of this whole, this whole creek bed and I'm like six inches from the top of my, my hip waders. <laughs> um, I haven't framed anything yet. I'm just getting my camera set up. I, I can still zoom in from here, I think. But, um, whoa. Yeah, so let me get, uh, I don't even know if I can put my GoPro down anywhere. Um, I didn't bring my other big tripod out here. So let me, uh, let me play around with this for a little bit. <clears throat> but just to reiterate, I'm trying to set up so that this is beneath where the falls are hitting the water. I like this dark line at an angle here to, to lead from a bottom right corner toward toward the falls, uh, which will probably be close to the, I don't even know if it's gonna be close to the middle of the picture. I like these roots, exposed roots, right in here on the side of that, that big flat rock. And, uh, whoa, whoa, holy cow, I am in, why is this the deep spot? All right, hip waders are holding so far. I'm, I don't feel any water leaking in. So one thing I wish, I'm gonna do a review on this GoPro. Uh, switching the microphone from the back to the front, unless I, there's a shortcut I missed, is a pain in the ass. But uh, it's raining and I'm hoping the, uh, that adds to the mood of the scene. It, I don't think it's adding any mist but through the, the, the depth of the trees, uh, it might be adding a little bit of mist and fog to, to, to a better separation. Kind of like that, looking at the little screen and looking <laughs> in person here. 
Um, I'm taking uh, different shutter speeds between half second to two seconds. I'm gonna go extreme uh, as a long exposure and just see what that does to it as well. As far as the rain on, on the surface of the water, how well that smooths that out uh, and the, the water falling. But uh, I'm getting rained on. It's, thank God it's not cold. It's probably mid 60s today. And I am having a blast in the rain. So yeah, I got my waders. I can't really, can't really show it that well. Let me see. Yeah, I got about eight, 10 inches. And uh, the water's not too cold, I'm surprised. I probably, probably could have just put on some, uh, some sandals or something and, and come in here. I'll remember that for the future. Uh, if I do this again, but I'm going to keep playing around the compositions. I hope the rain slows down. I wanted to get out actually my, my telephoto and, uh, get further back. I can get about another 15, 20 feet back and zoom in and see, uh, about how that would affect the back, the, the further background of kind of getting that out of focus a little more. But, um, yeah, I'm at F11 right now. No, I'm, I went higher, um, the, the, the light dropped once it really started raining. So I'm at uh, F18 ISO 64 and a two second shutter speed. So I'm playing around with, with those a little bit, see, uh, see what differences we can get. Uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna be testing out the durability of my, uh, my new t-shirt here. I kind of, I was, it was unexpected. I kind of liked the, the wider full shot because the muddiness on that bank I didn't like is, is less impactful, it's less of the scene. But it also brings in that tall tree on the left side here. Well, that was fun. Uh, seriously, that was a lot of fun. Uh, the rain, it's just heavy and, and, and lighter. It's just not, it's too heavy uh, for me to be comfortable with uh, without protecting my gear any better. Um, I just had my camera bag out in the bank that I wasn't getting back to with the rain. And my camera itself was exposed. And, um, and also paired with uh, my GoPro battery died. Uh, but I got uh, a fair amount of shots, I think. I definitely have one that I know I'll be happy with. I think there may even be two uh, closer up, uh, kind of a wide and then closer up kind of shots. Uh, what I'll be doing is I, I'm going to, I think, get one of these printed and framed and give to my sister-in-law as a present. Uh, Mother's Day is coming up. Her birthday is in October, uh, just a week before mine. But I think this would be a good gift to uh, to give to her from the, the creek at the back of her property. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, take a moment. I know there's been a, a gap in my videos, but uh, I'm back into it and uh, feeling feeling the groove right now. I'm gonna do, get into some uh, reviews, the GoPro and my bag and uh, tripod stuff. So pay attention for those. And uh, if you like this content, please feel free to, to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. You'll get notified 
when new videos come out. And yeah, thanks a lot. I really appreciate you taking the time to check this video out and uh, I'll talk to you later. And I don't know what this video is gonna be about yet. What am I doing out here in the rain? Why do I ramble? Huh? I wonder... There. I don't know how that worked.